AM transmitter is not a favorite project because its frequency is too low and all the coils will need a lot of windings over ferromagnetic core. Actually, this experiment is not about building AM transmitter, but it is more like a study on how many turns are suitable for AM band and how the waveform in each section will look like. The prototype consists of five block diagrams including amplitude modulation. The oscillator is a JFET with 60 turns of winding. This is the first time in my life to realize that Hartley oscillator generates waveform that is nothing like a sine wave. I also note that to generate 500 kHz, the number of turns should be 80 to 100 turns, not 60 like I did. The buffer state is added and its voltage output across 50 ohm load is 2000 millivolt compared to 80 800 in the oscillator. Waveform is also different in the sense that it has more headroom. The driver state with collector tune tank circuit is added. It confirms that below 1000 kHz, the waveform distortion is so bad that the appropriate number of AM winding should be around 80 to 100 turns. This demonstrates how the 70 turns tank coil is made because the tank coil is only 70 turns so we will set the transmitter to operate in high band at 1500 kHz. The driver amplifies 2000 mV to 3.4 V with significantly improved sine wave at the secondary winding. And finally, the output stage is added. Note the characteristic of Class C that the collector voltage swings to twice of the supply voltage and the transistor only conducts during positive cycles. Because I am a lazy person, so I will not install low pass filter, nor would I attempt to build a huge AM antenna. The receiver uses a 30-pin CXA1019 introduced in 1982. For almost 40 years, this chip has dominated AM-FM receivers from alarm clock to pocket size to desktop. It is truly the work of art that never, never dies. And as mentioned several times earlier, the data sheet also suggests that the AM coils should be around 100 turns. Both RF and oscillator coils should be tapped to match input impedance of the receiver chip.